guys good afternoon we finally packed everything in the house and i realized that i didn't do we didn't do a house tour on this house and this video is just a short video for house tour house had the kitchen part which is just the space and it has all of these lovely views from here and this is the train stay from here this place is very close it's close to one minute walk from the bus station two minutes walk from the train station it's close to the shops and all of that and what we also liked in this place is the nice views the lovely view that was where our tv was <laughs> and this is the boiler room that we also use that's our store and this was where our dining table was dining table and our kitchen we really like the place we've emptied the whole place and we've also cleaned we've tidied everywhere and let's continue to go to my bedroom this was my bedroom we've also tidied everywhere my bedroom and this is the view from my bedroom you can see outside but this bedroom did not have window there was no window so you can see the moisture from the the window you can see it from this picture it's not raining but it retains moisture and it causes a lot of molds if you check on the wall this had had a lot of molds we've used a lot of mold spray countless of times but it still keeps coming back and this was my wardrobe emptied it and it's it wasn't really a very big place but it was okay <laughs> enough and it had a lot of mold look at some of the mold on the wall some of the mold and this was one of the bathrooms we've tidied up everywhere tidied up everywhere this was the bathroom it had this bath and even the dryers in lots of mold this had really suffered from a lot of molds we sent a series of emails to the estate agents and they didn't do nothing about it for two years that i lived in this house i suffered from all of these terrible molds there are some molds at behind the door lots of molds and this is the second bedroom this is the bedroom that was infested with a lot of molds and i kept going off and on sick in this room in this house because of this mold issue that they SDJ refused to fix it so even the doors had all of these molds we clean it we use mold spray and all of that but it just keeps coming back and this is the second bedroom with all of these terrible molds this was terrible and the estate agent because it has cracks on the wall and look has these terrible molds it was really not habitable but the reason why i continued to stay here was because i just don't like moving because moving you have to change your addresses on everything you change your addresses on your bank accounts change your addresses at the hospital on your GP record, change your addresses on, on the driver's license record, change addresses on immigration and all of that. I just didn't want to deal with change addresses with the employer and so the whole process of changing of addresses that I didn't want to change address. And that was the reason why I remained in this house. This bathroom bedroom was terrible. It's even growing all of these on the floor look is this mushroom growing because of the terrible mold issue it has some cracks on the wall if you can see it, and the wall is disgusting it's not just about the mold it was disgusting and i wonder how the estate agent felt comfortable not to fix this for people paying rent to them and they refused to fix it for two good years two years i enjoyed this i endured this kind of living condition that i cannot suggest to anyone we keep spraying mold spray 
cleaning it, but it just keeps coming back because at some point the roof, the roof is even leaking. The wall. And I'm supposed to leave like this and use just ordinary mold spray to, to stop to stop it from from drizzling inside the room and I'm paying rent every month because you guys are really rude without considering considering my how see see the room I'm paying rent for where I'm paying rent for Let me still say that you know, I'm not paying you know, until this thing is fixed. Or you guys should just give me back my deposit. Let me move out to the end of the month. On the roof is leaking. Look, it's terrible, terrible. It's a nice place that we hope to have continued to stay, but the living condition was terrible, terrible, guys. It's not something I wish on anyone. The estate agent did not care, and it also had nice view from this house. You can see the train stations and that's the railway track there's no train passing right now if not if there's any train passing i would show you guys if i'm still recording by the time the next train pass but it was really terrible and this second bedroom also have the um wardrobes this is the wardrobe for the second bedroom and this one is like the ensuite it has the bathroom yeah so this second bedroom has the bathroom and shower but the thing was this house first of all the heating i'm not sure this heating this heater is suitable for this house and another issue that this house had was that the windows were does not open it has this stopper so it does not even stay open like this for ventilation to come in once you open it it goes by it closed shut by itself so it doesn't stay open that was one of the major issue this has had and anytime it rains the roof will leak and the floor becomes wet if you like you can't feel it but this floor is a bit damp even with oh that's the train <laughs> I told you you can see train from this house yeah that's the train that train is going straight to london let me see yeah it's going straight to london <laughs> yeah so this this place especially this room was terrible it was really terrible at a point we had to move out of this bedroom because we could not we couldn't manage it at all it was terrible and it has this uh, intercom system someone comes to visit that you can call let me check if the lights are turned off yeah this is my bedroom another reason why the mold became really serious was because for example this bedroom doesn't have an open window it has this see-through glass window but there's no way you can open this window for fresh air at least for ventilation to come in there was nothing you can't open it and that was one of the reason why we had a lot of molds and even the living room was not spared even with all the windows that it's open now we open it for ventilations 
but it still have lots of mold issue. We clean it with mold spray and all of that. I'm not sure you can see, but you can see. See a lot of mold on this living room. Even when we clean it, you can still see some particles of mold. Yeah. All these are marks from mold. From cleaning it, all these ones are marks from mold. It was, it was a terrible place to live in. It was, it was really terrible. And I wonder how the agent felt refusing to fix this for two years. I just wonder. So the oven, fridge, and it also came in with washing machine. And these are some molds too in here. In fact, the whole house. If you check in here too, you see some molds in the cupboard. Terrible. Even some mold in the oven, in the cooker, some molds. We clean it, but no, 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 no. See, I have a lot of molds.